Vocal technique of the week. How to build muscle memory. What, what does this have to do with singing? I wanna learn how to make my voice sound cool. <laughs> no, this is a muscle memory game. You need to understand how muscle memory building works in the body to understand how to fast track your vocal growth, okay? Let me break it down for you. It's really cool, actually. The way the body works is your brain sends an electrical impulse to your body to do things, like, for instance, breathing for singing, dropping your breath, making sounds, ah, telling the vocal folds to close, telling the vocal folds to do certain things. Your, every time you send an electrical impulse down your neuro network firing to tell yourself to do a particular thing over and over, the body hardwires that pathway. Let me explain that even more. So let's say I have the thought, breathe in by relaxing my stomach, Tim. And I have that thought. So I let my stomach drop, go down and out. And that electrical impulse tells my stomach to go whoop and drop. Oh, and then I make a sound. And then my body says, do that again. And then, oh, and I do that again. I just keep telling it to do that. When I tell my body to do the same thing over and over, it actually changes the nerves that are on that pathway. Isn't that amazing? Think about that. Imagine a telephone line between your brain and the muscle that you were telling to do something, like in your, the case of the breathing I was saying. And imagine that every time you think that thought and tell your body to do that thing, it's that, that nerve that nerve pathway, it literally, the outside of it hardens, it thickens. Like imagine a cable, like an outside wire connecting, you know, like your Fios connection. It's like that tube has an insulation built around it so that, so that that impulse can fire faster down that neural network. When you do think something enough or you do something enough, you hardwire it into your body. So then all of a sudden, when you think about that thing to do, that when you think about, like I said, breathing with your diaphragm, after you've hardwired it and your body's like built this hardwiring, you don't have to think about it anymore. It takes care of itself. Literally, your body automates the things that you do over and over. Think about that. Your body automates the things that you do over and over. It hardwires them. Your body goes, oh, you keep breathing like that? You've done that five times this week, uh, every morning. Must be important. Hardwire it, guys. And then your body just hardwires it so it's easier. That's as simple as it works. So if you want to get better, what you need to do is spend time building the muscle memory and reinforcing the things that were talked about from your voice lessons. Okay, and if you're not taking voice lessons, sign up for voice lessons. That's how we build muscle memory. You need to know what you're building. You don't want to build the wrong muscle memory. So what you need to do when you go home is it's all about this repetition of the correct things firing. Okay, now, and it's really important what the correct things are firing. When you're practicing and working with this idea of muscle memory, you have to understand that your body will remember what you do what it does, it will remember what you tell it to do, whether it's the habit you want to be doing or the habit you don't. So for instance, let's say you're in a voice lesson and you misinterpret. You thought the teacher said, open your mouth wider on the e-vowel, but he really or she really only wanted a little bit of space. But you practiced all week, ah, may, may, and you're opening your mouth like this and your te their teacher goes, why are you singing your e vowel like that? And you're like, well, I was doing from last week. No, nope, you didn't remember that right. So you just spent the whole week building muscle memory of over opening your e vowels, right? So, in other words, not only did that practicing not help you, it actually slowed you down because now you have to retrain yourself out of that. You have to send other hard, do some other rewiring. You have to retrain your mouth to not be as open. Now, the good news is, is you get really good at that the more and more you sing. You get so programmed, like you just get so coordinated, 
you can tell you can tell your body to do all sorts of things really well down the road. But in the beginning, it, it takes a little more. It's a little more tedious to tell the body to do things. But that's how it works. Muscle memory is just the repetition of the right thing, and that's how you build the coordination for singing. It's so simple. So, what I always tell people is, if you come to a lesson with me or a lesson with any of my staff, you are guaranteed to get better. The pace that you get better is dependent on how quickly you are willing to do the work to build the muscle memory. That's it. And you don't want to beat yourself up about it, you know. If you came, it may take you three months to do something, a task that I may give you in a lesson, that if, if you were to practice, it may take you three months to finish it, but it may take you three years if you don't to pr practice, you know. So it's this idea of, repetition of muscle memory, okay? So, that's how muscle memory works. Your body will remember whatever you tell it to do, so use that information to your advantage. Tell your body every day, just a little bit, what the right things you want it to do are. And when you do, you're gonna notice big changes. Start small first. Don't do too much first. It's better to do it right and in little bits than it is to do big, cramming sessions. The body doesn't work by doing cramming sessions like that. Muscle memory doesn't work by doing cramming sessions. It's little bits every day. A little bit in the morning, a little bit at night, that kind of thing. Okay? So, I hope that helps. Muscle memory building is a super important thing to understand as we move forward with the vocal technique because you need to understand how to build all these little coordinations that we're going to give you uh, for your voice, okay? See you at your next lessons.